Hey everyone, so today we're going to be removing this jelly tip right here. Now I had a lot of girls ask me on how or when to remove it. So I'm just going to go ahead and just take you through the steps on how I would do it. So I am going to be using my double dip drill today and this is how she looks like. Look, you can see my face. Hey. <laughs> okay, so this is the one that I'm going to be using today. And these right here are the drill bits that I would consider on using. They're more coarse, so it helps me take off a lot of more product off the um, jelly tip. I'm going to be using this rounder part just because I'm going to be going around my cuticle. Now, as for the tools for removing, I am going to be using this one right here. So this one actually um, I got with like the gel remover that I'm going to be using today. And usually you could uh, get them together, but I'm also going to be using this cuticle pusher. I like how it's curved at one end and then the other end is more like to get closer to your cuticles to kind of scrape everything out. So we're actually going to be using both of these today. Now, as for the gel remover, I'm going to be using Triple D's Get Naked. So these are the instructions on the back. It says to apply it and to like wait for like three minutes before you start scraping it off and then repeat. Um, it usually takes me about three to four times um, to do it before I can get the product completely off. That just depends on how much um, product you have on the, the nail. When I do it on jelly tips, it usually takes me about four times. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and basically try to take all of that shine off the nail and kind of try to take a little bit of the nail layer off as well so like i said earlier i had a couple girls ask me about like how i would take it off or uh, when i would take it off so this video is just me showing you like how i usually take off the jelly tips now when that's probably honestly on personal preference i usually don't take off my jelly tips until like maybe like three months down the line that's how long i had my first set on and that was only because i had to try a new product out so that's why i removed it i usually just go in there and like rebalance and do fills so i really didn't have to take it off so again when to take it off is honestly personal prefer preference so i'm going to go ahead and shake off this little bottle because it does have the product inside that we need it doesn't say to shake it up i just feel better for me to shake it up kind of like when you like have a juice and you want to shake up the juice before you drink it kind of like that so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uh, kind of like just basically wipe the product onto the nail now you don't need too much just enough to um, coat the entire nail now typically i would do this on all my five nails at the same time but for the video's sake i will be doing it just on the one nail this is when you would wait the three to five minutes i did cut off some of the time on the video but it took me about 15 minutes for this one nail so this is how she looks like right off the bat you can tell that it, the um gel is kind of basically like melting away okay so it is supposed to look like this so i know it looks kind of cringy because it looks kind of like messed up but again it's supposed to look like this so this is what, what you want um for the look before you start scraping so we're going to go ahead and take that first tool and i'm going to go ahead and just scrape off um all of that little stuff that's kind of hanging off or melted away now you guys i usually do this when i'm either listening to my podcast or watching my youtube sh videos like catching up on all my friends youtubes or even watching one of my shows it's just easier that way so you don't pay attention to the time because when you're like looking at the time it kind of feels like it's taking longer like i said it took me about 15 minutes uh maybe closer to 13 honestly for this one nail um now if you do all five nails obviously like that's really good timing for all five nails you know what i mean All right, so that's the first layer off. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process. I'm gonna go ahead and take my drill again with the same bit and try to take off a little bit more product. Now, I like to do it just on the first two to three layers because by that time, you're getting down to your natural nail. So that's when I'm gonna change my bit. And I will be doing that later on in the video. Now, if you guys are taking off regular gel, like the soak off gel, it is gonna work much, much faster. Or if you do builder gel, I feel like when I was taking off my builder gel compared to my jelly tips, it was also coming off faster. So just a heads up, you guys, um, the jelly tips do take a little bit more love to take off. But I mean, 13 to 15 minutes for complete removal is still pretty bomb.
All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and use this bit one more time. This is the third layer that we're taking off. Um, so this is actually um, pretty close to the natural nail. I can actually see my natural nail under it, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, this is when after this is why I like to change my um, jewel bit after this turn because again, I'm getting closer to my natural nail and I do not wanna use this bit on my natural nail because it will damage it. All right, so this time we're gonna go ahead and use this cuticle tool. Now, I did notice that this tool took a lot more product off, so I probably should have started using this one first. So you guys, I know a lot of us probably already have this tool actually, so you might not need the other tool, because again, this one works just fine. Um, so you guys, just a heads up, if you guys are looking for a good drill and drill bits, go ahead and visit the Double Dip website and use my code SHAY25, that's S-H, E I two five and that'll save you twenty five percent. So that's the, again the drill that I use um, in this video as well as the bits. So now I'm just taking my sanding band and kind of just taking off of that thin layer of the gel that I had on. This was the gel that helped me adhere the jelly tips on. This is basically what's left behind. So I'm just going to use my sanding band, kind of try to take off as much as I can. I'm going to also use this to kind of shorten my nail. Since I still had some product at the tip, I did use the um, gel remover a little bit at the tip. And this time I only left it for like two to three minutes. You didn't really need it. I, I mean, I didn't really need it to use it that long. After I let that sit and removed it, I then went in with my nail file to kind of shape up my nail. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch and then I'll be right back in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so this is how we're looking like, and everything is actually completely removed. So this is when I said I did take my nail file and kind of shaped it up a little bit. It didn't need too much shaping, but um, the tip did have, it was kind of wonky at the end, so I did have to shape that up. I also wanted to trim it down. Um, I actually want to go ahead and refresh my jelly set, so I'm going to be doing that, the rest of them off camera. But um, for, like I said, for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and stick with my index finger. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up my cuticle area, kind of scrape off all of that excess gunk that was left behind. Then I'm gonna go in with my cuticle oil. Today I'm gonna to be using Scales of a Mermaid, which by the way, you guys, I am the influence of the month. So if you guys wanna use the code SHAY10, that'll save you 10%. This is how we're looking like, you guys, and look how healthy she still is under. So this is how it looked like with the tip on, and this is how it looks like removed. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helps. I'll see you later, bye.